Hello all and uh, welcome to my channel. I'm sorry but started recording this a little late. I simply forgot that this could be interesting for an video. And believe me, it will be an incredibly good repair. As you can see, uh, I already disassembling this laptop so watch it carefully uh, at the moment taking out battery but uh, let's talk a bit about what is the problem and why I doing this uh, it's uh, an HB Pro book uh, 450 G 10 laptop and problem problem is coca-cola drink is spilled all over the keyboard it's n now it's not that the uh, keyboard does not work it simply became uh, somehow sticky so with one simple case stroke uh, it repeats multiple times uh, on one single press replacement of keyboard is not an option keyboard with special characters for my region are way too expensive so I had to find another way so stay with me and uh, again stay with me you will see something most likely you never seen before and as a bonus uh, you uh, already watching how to disassemble this laptop 100% uh, so everything will go out now I removing trackpad which is quite large when taking it out be very careful because uh, some people can might get tricked into th thinking there is nothing uh, underneath but actually what you see after removing the trackpad underneath is a display so be extra careful uh, to not damage the screen while working on the laptop later because uh, in this area where is trackpad screen will be exposed now step by step by removing each part of inside of the laptop i'm speeding up the process to keep things interesting and to avoid boring you with unnecessary details the main point of this video is what i did to fix the keyboard problem and that's something you're going to learn and see for yourself i've never seen this method before so high chance there are high chance uh, you haven't either i carefully thought about all possible so solutions of course I considering considered uh, all my experience and knowledge and finally decided the best and safest way to fix it uh, if you miss any part of disassembly process uh, feel free to ask in the comment I always respond to every single question on my channel so there is no unanswered questions uh, at my channel everything is disassembled we come to the final step my unique method to remove coca-cola from the keyboard I will briefly explain the process as I go uh, the 
Uh, whole idea is uh, to use the styled water and cook the keyboard in the oven, in simple kitchen oven, for about 30 minutes at uh, 40 to 60 uh, Celsius degrees. Maybe you have seen how water easily dissolve uh, dried Coca-Cola in, in a glass and uh, that is uh, from where I got the idea what to do. I considered using alcohol or other aggressive fluids but uh, at the end most safe way is the styled water as it uh, does not leave any residue after evaporation and effectively, effectively uh, melts and absorbs the sticky Coca-Cola soda. This method has a good chance of washing out the Coca-Cola without damaging the keyboard. Uh, to ensure uh, precise temperature control, I use a I use external instruments to monitor the oven temperature as I don't fully trust the mechanical thermostat. Once uh, the cooking is finished, it's time to dry the keyboard. I again going to use, uh, I will use the oven again uh, at around 50 degrees for half hour, but uh, before uh, I before I use the oven, uh, I use the uh, air blower uh, to blow out uh, as much water I can from keyboard, so it's uh, almost dried fully. But uh, oven will do the job uh, 100%. And now, uh, after complete completely dried everything. Uh, it's time to reassemble laptop and test uh, was this method actually uh, did good job and clean at keyboard. Since this is uh, my first time I'm working on this HP ProBook 450G10 laptop, I never had uh, such model in my hands before. I even I had uh, to refer to my own recordings to remember uh, where which screws going where. This is exactly why it's always a good idea to record uh, this assembly process. It helps uh, ensure everything is re reassembled correctly and in the right order. So far everything uh, gone smoothly without any issue, but now comes the big question. What will happen when I power on laptop? Uh, we're going to see it very soon. So, we'll give the picture on the screen. I'm sure it will work, but uh, let's see, nothing happening still on the screen, but uh, of course uh, uh, CMOS battery was unplugged, so it's expected uh, that it have long boot time and uh, it will be error, like you see, post error, it's uh, regarding uh, time in BIOS and so on. <coughs> Sorry, I will fix that uh, very quick, no problem at all. Uh, let me go in to BIOS, I don't know on HP, is, is it F1 or F2, what I'm going to get now? <coughs> oh, testing, so it, it I pressed uh, F2 and... Uh, it BIOS is uh, F1, but uh, let me use this test to test keyboard. If it work, I mean it working, it react on F1, F2, and you see other keys, I pressing, it reacts. 
so it should be okay everything how this is uh, tool is used it confusing me a little mm. let me let me let me what it say Okay, now I should be able to test the uh, keys. Yep, you see all keys reacting, but I can't type uh, everything. So let me let me uh, fix uh, time and everything. I will not be boring you. I will come back to you uh, with uh, with uh, when I be in Windows. Here are Windows and Notepad or Notice, whatever you wanna call it. In, they calling it Notice and let's test keys. It looks like uh, everything working properly. It's good feeling. There is no repeated case strokes. I mean that was happening around uh, uh, W, F, uh, A, 1, 2, 3, those are case was uh, sticky and uh, was, uh, was uh, automatically repeating at one press was like uh, W especially was uh, giving like 10 to 12 uh instantly giving 10 to 12 uh, pressings i mean uh, i want to type it once it uh, go like uh, immediately to 10 uh, w letters instantly so that was the uh, issue with this laptop now it working and you have seen something i never seen before never tried before even for me this method is the uh, first time this was experimental i had no choice uh, then to try to solve it uh, on some way and this was for me in my head it was the best way and at the end it is the best way it working it uh, successfully washed out or all coca-cola from the keyboard and uh, laptop is uh, fully functional again thank you for watching and see you again please hit that subscribe button thank you